Sorry, <laughs> need to introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Thomas Kirby and I am a Oxbridge student. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, I've just recently turned 30. Um, I am into things such as running, um, sports, uh, studying, reading and music. What subjects are you studying here at Oxford? Uh, in the past I did um, nutrition and health and I've just recently started doing level 3 life coaching. Where do you see yourself in the future? Where do I see myself in the future? Um, I see myself in a part-time job, uh, whether that's involved in catering or something else, with, or helping someone, and also being a hockey coach helping kids learn hockey like I did. We've heard that you do a lot of volunteering as well as charity work. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So on a Friday morning, on behalf of Incredible Surplus at Wheelie Castle Community Church, we invite families to come along and take some food, whether that be um, cereal, bread, milk, um, they pay a small donation and that helps to pay for us to go and stop the food going to landfill and going to waste. What's your proudest achievement so far? My proudest achievement so far, not only recently passing my first course with Oxbridge, um, in 2017 I was part of a um, power hockey team in Amsterdam and uh, we won gold um, which meant a lot because none of us um, had played sports at school and it's the first time that we'd been abroad to play hockey and we ended up bringing gold home so being in the final and feeling nervous and I still can't watch penalties now so those two um, have to be my proudest achievement so far. What kind of challenges have you faced when it comes to studying and how have you overcome them? The challenges I've faced uh, we have the motto of I can I will um, in that I wasn't sure whether I was good enough um, to, to study um, and I just thought if I can do it then I can achieve anything um, and I reached out to Oxbridge for their help and they helped me achieve what I was able to do. So what topics have you found most interesting throughout your studies? Um, the topics that I've found most interesting so far with, no, with nutrition um, and the sort of different eating disorders that there that there was. I never realised that there was so many. Um, and also with life coaching, it's about um, helping people find their goals in life and where they want to be. Um, which again, if you're unsure about where you think your life is heading, you can help someone achieve what their life goal is. What would you say are the main differences between studying with Oxbridge and a traditional college? So um, with the differences with traditional college is you're there for a certain amount of hours um, which can put quite a lot of pressure on you because you've only got those few hours in the day with your Pacific tutor uh, they might give you homework for the next day, which you've got to do. Um, and that can be a lot of, 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 of pressure to, to, for anyone really. Um, whereas with Oxbridge, um, they have a 24 seven 
um, call line or email and also you can do it at home which also in for someone's mental health it relaxes them because they can take their time they can enjoy it um, and also there's support whenever you need it which will actually help someone take their time to actually enjoy what they're studying. Do you find that there is enough level of support at Oxbridge for people with learning disabilities? Yes, I definitely think so because I was at a point with my current course where I was really struggling to finish it. I just couldn't get my brain to actually say you're at the end, you really need to do this. So I reached out um, to my tutor um, and when we discussed a professional discussion that made straight away took all the fear and anxiety away from me because I was able to use that to put, to put me at ease and also I was able to finish my course by doing that. How have your Oxbridge tutors supported you during your learning journey? How they've supported me during my um, Oxbridge journey is just understanding me and I think people with disabilities, as long as they're understood, um, that can help in a lot of ways because I think there's a lot of pressure on them in actually achieving what they're able to do and just having that little bit of reassurance that they can do it from their tutor um, and looking at their, the barriers that they have and then understanding what they can do with those to overcome them, that can help a person a lot, like myself. So what advice would you give to someone with learning disabilities thinking about studying online and gaining a qualification? The advice that I will give to um, someone along those lines is if they believe they can't do it, they can because there's a lot of supportive team at Oxbridge that will straight away help you um, because they'll take the time to find what your problems are and there's no sort of, oh, we can't, it's we can. And they'll go over and above to make sure at the end of the day that you achieve what you want to.